Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I am reading from the coffee cup and then I will be drawing out cards from the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck here. Okay, Virgo. Please do like, share and subscribe, do hit that notification bell also, I very much appreciate that. Lovely Virgos, okay, let's see what is going on with you. Almost your birthday season, almost, almost. What I see here, there's a large independence here. You are like a big energy of independence, growing, growing stronger and smarter. But there's also something that you're keeping in line, and that is your soul. So your journey, what I see, is very soulful. You have a very soulful journey trying to keep things balanced not everything is all about the material things or forgetting your spirituality because if anything i see you definitely growing in your spirituality blossoming in your spirituality there is something that you are maybe starting to practice daily um you know that could be anything from a, a meditation to uh you know, a mantra that you have, whatever that could be. That there's many things I see here that you are doing that's really helping um, overall, you know, in many other areas. There is a big decision that I see coming through, something that you're going to decide on that is really going to alter pretty much everything around you, including relationships. A big decision is coming through. Only you can make that decision. Only you can make that decision for yourself. You can go, you know, for someone for advice, and I do see others helping you out and whatnot. Ultimately, you know what is best for you and, and, and what makes you tick, what makes, like, for you to get excited for you to you know wake up each morning going oh i'm so glad that i made this decision that i'm here and and that's where you're following and how you're going you know and, and you make it and there is something that i do see you're breaking some sort of cycle here you're breaking the cycle there's something here that you're saying never going back thanking the universe and i do see You've managed to bend what it seems like. I hope this is going to make sense. Like, um, you know, you think there's a plan ahead of you and it seems like it's concrete or whatever. It's That's how it's going to happen. But there's something that you need to adjust and you're managing to bend that, you know, bend that energy, make it work in your favor. And... You manage to do it. There's some tip or trick or some something interesting here. You know, you could um, you could change those energies of a particular situation yourself. You know, through visualizing, through your meditations, things like that is what I'm seeing. You have a good backing, you know, spiritual backing here, Virgo. I do see many things you could have. Uh, there's been s certain temptations around you that those that are protecting you, your guides and all that, haven't allowed you to do because um, they know what is best for you. You know, temptations to, for example, um, you know, take a... Take a job that seems really good, but it would have been really bad for you. Whatever, you know, it may be many things like that. Um, to go out in a certain, to a certain place, but, you know, your guides can see that that's not maybe the best place for you to go. It may be too dangerous. And so you start to see plans changing last minute. And you're so blessed to have that. Even if you get annoyed, it's like, oh, I can't believe this was cancelled or whatnot. But it's like, no, that is a great blessing in the skies for you. And I do see that appearing, that you're going to see that. Um, I, I get somebody around you that's a little bit patronizing, like talks to you like you're a child and like you're not a child. Um, you could have like some words you know, between you two, but I do see it's going to be put to rest, done. You're going to deal with it, and they're not going to do that anymore. It's like that's just something you can't, you can't, like you don't want to deal with. And so 
anymore. So good on you, good on you. I do see there's something being presented to you, something that feels like a gift, a reward, you know, that's allowing you to really um, go the distance with something or someone here. You have some skills here, some key skills that um, is very much wanted, needed. I see if you're, if you're wanting to get some kind of job, or, it's not going to be difficult for you. you in, in, I do see you making good contacts or, you know, people are um, remembering you, you know, and, and keep you in mind with lots of things. So that's a really good place to be at. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the cards have for you. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. The Hangman. Too many cards. Okay. Uh, go. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, okay. Queen of Cups, Hangman. And the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> you have great will, great determination, a great drive here. You know, and there's some things that you realize you have to kind of, you've had to be patient about and whatnot. There's something that is coming to a fulfillment here with the Queen of Cups, emotional fulfillment, something that you're going to find stability with, um, and something that you also get to keep. I, I see here something coming back to you that you get to keep it is yours. You feel like you've won this victorious energy here. Seeing things in a different perspective with the hanged man um, and certain starting to realize, oh, we're talking about, about those blessings in disguise, but also starting to realize and see that the sacrifices that you've made, the compromises that you've made um, have been worth it. You know, you are coming to a head with... Um, a decision again an, an important decision now is the time and you know if anybody can do it you do and I do see you having to be very courageous but you've got it and I see you've got the heart to make this happen you're good at multitasking you're good at taking multiple things at the same time but I do see you trying to focus your energy one thing at a time the magician excellent the magician Queen of Wands, all right. Magician and the Queen of Wands. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, I get something about the independent uh, side of you. But you are, uh, you're making things happen here with a magician. You're being put in a position where you have all the tools and all the resources to really give something a go and create it. And... I see you asking the universe, working with the energies of the universe to make it yours. And what I also do see for some of you, it is happening a lot quicker than you realize, than you know, or than, than you expect. And definitely use your charm. <laughs> use that charm of yours. You know, if you're entering a, a room meeting somebody for the first time or at an interview, whatever it is that you have right now with your visions, it's going to manifest in a very strong way, very clear way. I do see you're going to start th seeing things a lot clearer. Messages are going to come to you a lot clearer, answers, all of that. And also knowing your worth, absolutely knowing your worth, taking your power back, all of it. And staying there as well. Knowing that you are lucky. You have that luck around you. The two of wands. Oh, wow. <laughs> the decision making is real. And really will like offset a number of things. Will really start to change things for the better for you. And knowing that, okay, yes, you are in charge. You have the world in your hands. And it's asking you to prepare for all that, you know, is is um, coming forward. You can speak things into existence. You're living in that vibration. And it definitely is showing here. Whatever avenue you choose to go down, you will make it a great success. You have 
doors opening up for you here Virgo I'm loving this for you thank you so very much for being here I really really hope that this was helpful please do let me know appreciate all of you do take care and until next time